can only and imagine. We, it was, and you know what? We've posted the entire thing on our Good. website right. for you to Good. listen to. Mm -hmm. She was a former teacher, and boy, mm. did she drive that point across, and it yeah. was really passionately. What a plus, difference she plus. made today, and that you've been making yeah, throughout right. this. But also, there was more than 500 of them yes. here in our, I mean, if I was a mm -hmm. parent with a kid in one of these schools, I'd be paying attention. And I am, and we are. Yes. All right. Thank you. Well sure. done, Susan. Our team coverage of this weather alert day continues with Storm Team 4 in just a minute. But first, let's go back to Shamari Stone, circling the bell by all evening with News 4 photojournalist Beth Brown. All right, Shamari, where are you guys now, and how are the roads looking where you are? Beltway. We just passed Alexandria. We're making our way towards Tyson's Corner, and the roads are pretty good. We haven't seen any major accidents when we started in Northwest DC to Bethesda to Silver Spring to Prince George's County. Again, right now we're in Virginia. Now we're waiting for uh, the snow to come down. We saw some flakes when we were in the Northwest DC area. It's picking up a little right now. That's exactly what Chief Meteorologist Doug Cameron was telling us about. It is very wet and slick on the Beltway. So if you plan on coming out, which I personally don't think you should, just to be safe, make sure that you are very careful. And again, as Doug has been telling you, watch out for the refreeze overnight. Back to you. Yeah, thanks, Shamari. I appreciate that. You know, Shamari, we, we sent Shamari out there today knowing that he'd be on the east side of the D.C. metro area and getting a lot less. Most of the rain, snow, and sleet mix were off to the west. It has been a nightmare as far as uh, travel is concerned. 66, 270, all looking bad. 750 all out towards uh, parts of Fairfax and Loudoun County. Now, a lot of our uh, a lot of our photographers up, up into parts of Montgomery County, too, where the secondary roads are just a mess. And that's why we think we could have some school cancellations tomorrow. Take a look right now here's the latest radar and you see how this is just quickly moving on out of here i mean it is almost done in the dc area but i want to show you this vantage point here taking away the uh, uh, snow depiction but what i'm showing you here is nothing left in frederick leesburg and warrington to the west there's nothing left at all but i'm watching this line right here coming right through dc right where shamari is starting to see some heavier snow and then still some rain down toward the south but take a look here this is where it's the, coming down the heaviest buoy right now seeing the snow uh, around laurel around maryland city right on down towards the uh, uh, College Park area seeing some pretty good snow in that region too. Bethesda, you're about done. Gaithersburg, you are about done in your area as well. The whole system moving on out of here and behind it, we've got some colder temperatures. And right now, our temperatures are, are really uh, borderline right around the freezing mark. 32 Leesburg, 32 Gaithersburg, 35 in the city. But over the next few hours, we expect these numbers to drop into the 20s. And once we get below about 28, yeah, that's when we could see everything freeze up very, very quickly. I mean, yeah, you get below freezing, you have some ice, but after, uh, later tonight, Amelia, I mean, we're talking about a hard freeze, and that's why we really think tomorrow we could see some cancellations in parts of our area. Yeah, absolutely. So this is only an outlook for potential delays and cancellations. Of course, though, I do have to say we've heard Prince William County schools will be closed tomorrow, but some other potential delays or even cancellations here in red, I think the most likely delays are going to be where we've seen more snow, and especially cancellations as well. This is including Loudoun County, Frederick County in Maryland, maybe even Montgomery County, although we know they typically don't make the call until very early in the morning. Uh, parts of Fauquier County have seen quite a bit of snow today, so maybe a school cancellation there as well, back into Frederick County in Virginia and the panhandle of West Virginia. Now, here's the potential for some delays or really nothing at all. So if you live in the counties here in yellow, kids get the homework done tonight. This includes Fairfax, Arlington, Alexandria, Prince George's, Charles, and Arundel and Calvert counties. Maybe a delay there tomorrow. Maybe I'm really not seeing a school cancellation though in those counties. But as we look to tomorrow morning, there is going to be ice in spots, especially north and west of Washington on the untreated side roads, sidewalks and driveways. As we look to Thursday, it is all about the dangerously cold air out there during the morning hours. Wind chills anywhere from about 15 below zero to around zero on Friday. It's cold and maybe some light snow showers out there. I've posted this graphic on my Facebook and Twitter pages, Doug. But again, mm -hmm. it's really all about that dangerously cold air that's with us tomorrow, but especially on Thursday morning. Yeah, and that's why Thursday we could see some delays out there. We saw some uh, delays or cancellations from the last bout of cold air about a week and a half ago. We could see another one with this Arctic blast coming through tomorrow into Thursday, especially a high of 26, 29 on Friday, 50% uh, chance of some snow showers on Friday. We'll be watching that.